You know, I never really did trust those garden flamingos. Hello everybody, I'm Lavis, and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-1507, Pink Flamingos. Let's begin. Item number, SCP-1507. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Instances of SCP-1507 are to be housed within Site-77's Wilderness Observation Deck. In the event that Foundation staff need to interact with SCP-1507, Person of Interest-1507 is to accompany them into the chamber. Staff must be a minimum of 5 feet away of Person of Interest-1507 when in the presence of SCP-1507. Any requests that POI-1507 has in relation to SCP-1507 are to be reviewed by the current research head. POI-1507 is allowed to and encouraged to have daily interactions with SCP-1507. Description SCP-1507 is the collective designation given to 30 plastic lawn flamingos of unknown make or manufacturer. Instances of SCP-1507 bear no notable behavioral differences from the average American flamingo, save for an increase in territorial behavior and lack of vocalization. Said behavior often results in attacks targeted towards Foundation staff. The only individual known to circumvent their behaviors is POI-1507, otherwise known as Leroy Day. Hume-level testing performed on POI-1507 suggests reality-bending abilities, though all conversations with him have come back as unclear of his awareness of his abilities. Addendum 1507-A Following are phone logs recovered from POI-1507's phone following the acquisition of SCP-1507. Due to lack of compliance and resources, an interview was unable to be taken from POI-1507. Mark, you called? Oh, eh, uh, I'm sorry. Still not used to this yet. Huh, <laughs> you're fine. I'm still getting used to this myself. It's just weird is all. Yeah, I don't doubt. I don't know how I'd react if I just stopped hearing one day. Well, just in case it happens, let me tell you something. Keep around a pencil and paper or something to type. It's the only way folks will talk to you. That sucks. You get used to it. I mean, I guess. Still a bit lonely, isn't it? As I said before, you get used to it. Now, what were you calling about? Oh, right. I'm coming over today. And I'm bringing a sort of get well soon gift. Ooh, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for you. March 2nd, 2012. Leroy sends a picture of a few garden flamingos. I think he likes this spot in my garden. It overlooks the koi pond, so he probably likes to watch the little guys. I'm glad to hear that, man. I just knew you said that you'd miss those old watching trips the most. So I tried to, well, bring it to you in any way I could. Oh, god dang, you got me crying. I really do appreciate this, man. You're the first to come visit me after the getting out of the hospital. So it really does mean a lot, even without the gifts. Wait, what about Henrik, your old boss? Oh, well, if I'm being honest, it was a roundabout way of letting me go. Dude, that's not okay. Isn't that illegal? He could probably fight the case if I'm honest, and I'd rather not lose money on it. Well, that still freaking sucks. God, I'm sorry people are being crappy to you, dude. Tell you what, after I'm off work tonight, I'll make you whatever you want, okay? Sounds good. And I guess if that's the case, salmon isn't up the menu, is it? Not one bit. I'll be over at 9. March 3rd. Hey, I saw you have some more flamingos there. I'm assuming that the little guy was a pretty good gift. He's great, honestly. Best pet I've ever had. He doesn't need food, water, or anything like that. Heck, he doesn't even bite. But I figured he was getting a bit lonely with just me. Well, looks like he has plenty of friends now. He does, and he's so happy running around with them. March 4th. Hey dude, been a while since I've heard from you. Everything okay? Yeah, just work's been piling up recently and I've been racing to beat the clock. Oh, I don't envy that at all. March 6th. Hey, I saw your sister on the news today. She seems really proud of her work. March 8th. 
Leroy sends a picture of several garden flamingos in his yard. We got a whole pool party back here now. They play so well together. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Are you doing okay, dude? Oh, I'm fine. Just, I don't know, getting harder to, well, talk to people, you know? Leroy, I, I'm sorry I missed your past few texts, and you know what? I'll take you out again tonight to that one barbecue place you like. Calroy's, is it? It is, but seriously, dude, I'm fine. Then consider this an apology meal. Anyways, can't complain when I'm paying. I guess that's true. March 8th, 2012, later that evening. I know you're driving, but for when you stop, just text me. Right, sorry again. I keep forgetting. It's fine. What's up, dude? Well, you keep your flamingos inside. Yeah, they don't really like the rain. What do you mean? They just don't like it. It gets inside them and bothers them and all that stuff. Dude, I know you've been obsessed with them recently, but... You realize they're not real, right? No, they move and play with me. They're plastic. Yeah, but they move around and they play. You know, if you turn the car around, I can show you. Not gonna lie, this is a weird way of saying you want to go home. I don't. I just want you to see the flamingos. Fine, dude. Let's eat and you can take me back. An hour later. See, I told you they play. I don't know why they don't like you. After all, you're their uncle. <laughs> I guess they're overprotective of you. I'm sorry. This wasn't meant to happen. You're fine. Discovery. On March 8th, 2012, a series of 9-11 calls were received in the Clay County area. The calls were noted to have a male crying and uttering various unidentifiable phrases. Due to the nature of the call, it was flagged for scanning and a Foundation agent was sent out to the call. When arriving on the scene, the agent reported POI 1507 attempting to unsuccessfully resuscitate another man, who was later identified as Mark Farman, that had multiple stab wounds presumably caused by SCP-1507. POI 1507, after being taken into Foundation custody, was amnesticized following an Ethics Committee order. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, you could click over here for another video I made, or you could click over here to subscribe. And if you have any other SCP ideas that you want to hear me read, please leave them in the comments below. Have a nice day.